Today, a judge delayed a decision on what's called a certificate of innocence for two Chicago brothers, Sean Tyler and Reginald Henderson, who were wrongly convicted of murder and they want their names cleared after being exonerated. The CBS2 investigators have been digging into this complicated process for months now. Megan Hickey joins us live to break down what she's found. And Megan, in the state of Illinois, freedom and innocence are not the same thing. Right, Jim and Marie, and it's a particularly important discussion here because Illinois consistently leads the nation in exonerations. The two brothers could still get that certificate of innocence that they've been fighting for, but they'll have to head back to court. So being exonerated in Illinois does not necessarily mean you're innocent. Correct. I mean, Attorney Josh Tepfer with the Exoneration Project explained that the frustrating delay that exonerees Sean Tyler and Reginald Henderson are experiencing. When I walk out of here, I'm still seen as a criminal. Is part of the process for many wrongly convicted people across the state. It's senseless and cruel and it prolongs suffering unnecessarily. He says it's actually more streamlined now than it used to be when exonerees required a pardon from the governor. The statue was put into place because when Governor Bogoyevich was in office, he was simply just not ruling on any of these. It wasn't like he was denying them, he just wasn't ruling, and there was a huge backlog. A certificate of innocence means your record is wiped clean and you can bring a claim for damages against the state. But there are lots of barriers. In the brothers' case, the state is asking for another opportunity to present evidence that would put their innocence in question. I just don't understand. You're not guilty, but in our eyes, you're not innocent. So where does that leave you? Praying. In exoneree Wayne Washington's case that the CBS2 investigators dug into last year, his certificate was denied because he pleaded guilty in order to reduce his sentence. People of the state of Illinois versus Wayne Washington. And in January, his case made it all the way to the Illinois Supreme Court. To this day, the lack of a certificate of innocence prevents Mr. Washington from getting a good job and chaperoning his daughter's field trips. He's still waiting on a decision from the Supreme Court, and while we don't have firm data on just how many other exonerees are in his boat, God bless everyone. It's clear he's not alone in this fight. It's obviously very significant because if the court were to say no, if you plead guilty, it's a total bar. Uh, that would affect a lot of people, a lot of the people who are victims of police misconduct. Now, as for Sean Tyler and Reginald Harrison, they did not get the news they wanted today, but there will be an evidentiary hearing in May where a judge will be able to consider any evidence the state has before weighing in. From the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.